Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So I want to share this channel with you because lately I've been watching a lot of these videos and I gotta say, they've become addicting. It's this channel called Paula from Tokyo and he posts these day in the life videos that are unbelievably amazing. And this one came up. It's already got one and a half million views and it's titled Day in the Life of a Japanese Game Illustrator. So with that said, I want to comment on this video as soon as you hit the like button and subscribe because we are closing into uh, that elusive million subscriber mark. So if you want to be a part of it, it would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much. And now with that said, let's begin. This is a day in the life of a Japanese game illustrator. I don't know why, but everything in Tokyo just seems to be so much cooler than it is here in Las Vegas or really anywhere in the US. This is one of those places that I would love to visit one day. It's on my bucket list of like a place to spend like a solid like few weeks there, just go exploring. I would love that. So one day guys, one day and I'll just vlog it all. This is Ruby, 30 years old, living in the heart of Tokyo and she's just waking up for work. She lives with her cute pet in this 1LK apartment, quite spacious for a single person in the city. She says that she used to live in a much smaller apartment nearby, but she needed to find a bigger place during the pandemic to house all of her equipment so she could work remotely. Wow, that is so neat. Now I've seen a lot of these places in Japan that are tiny. I mean, we're talking like, 200 square feet, 150 square feet, the people are renting them out, and uh, for them it's a lot of space. And sometimes you, you take for granted just like how open everything is here and just like how much you can move around. And But you know what? That's not the norm for a lot of the uh, a lot of the world. And it's interesting to see just a different perspective. So Ruby has been working as a video game illustrator for six years now. Even as a little girl, she loved to draw, but growing up couldn't envision a proper career where she could pursue her passion. So she entered university majoring in a completely different field. But when her job hunting started, she discovered that there were prestigious Japanese companies offering illustration jobs. Recognizing the opportunity, she convinced her parents to let her study character design at a professional training college, ultimately leading to her dream job at her current company. That's really neat. That's cool that she's able to pursue that and especially do something where she could work remotely. I'm, I'm curious how much money they make though and what the average salary is here because I've heard the salaries overall are way less than what you would think they would be uh, compared to here, but uh, let's see. I guess she eats yogurt with nuts, jam, and blueberries. Looks healthy. <laughs> For a second, I thought she was gonna put on the mask to work remotely. Just put it on. It's like do a Zoom call with it on. All right, never mind. I was wrong. Good morning, y'all. I'm back with another day in the life. You guys don't even know the hoops I had to go through to get this one done, but we're here. We're doing it, and I'm super excited and pumped. Ruby should be coming on the next train. Let's wait for her now. He is so happy. I want his enthusiasm of just, hey, I'm just happy to be here. Glad to make YouTube videos. And you know what? Again, his his channel needs more subscribers. Like the fact that he's just over 3 million, he could be at 10. Like these are so fun to watch. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I like, by the way, how he's voicing this over in English, but he's speaking to her in Japanese. Very cool to hear this. One of the top video game developers in Japan, creating ultra popular titles known worldwide, such as Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, and making it all happen, 3,700 hardworking employees. But these days, due to safety measures, many employees have the option to work remotely, which is why the office is relatively quiet. Wow, that's awesome. I will say, it seems like most of the US has really gone back to like working in person besides a few tech companies who allow remote working. I think we're gonna go back more so to like maybe more of a hybrid model, but probably like 90% in person. There is something to be said about the work you do in person with other people when you could see other people and collaborate in person. You just, it just doesn't have the same effectiveness and creativity as when you do it online. But that's again, my own experience. So what are you working on? FFB can you finish it today? That's crazy. I spent all day on that thing. I'm thinking this is like a thumbnail. I spend like an hour on it, max. Maybe an hour and a half. You get frustrated. You post it anyway and it bombs. But uh, geez, imagine spending days on like one picture. What's the process for creating an illustration? This this is the concept sketch she drew in one day. This is so cool. I actually really like this. This is neat. She's a great artist. Can I see your past work? 
。これ、私の私物の棚なんですけど、ゲームソフトとかも、ほぼの不思議なダンジョン、エブリバディ。Wow! That is so neat to be able to design and illustrate some of these things. Just knowing that your work is viewed by like tens of millions, maybe, some, maybe even a hundred million people have seen like your picture. On a cover. Looks like Ruby is going to be illustrating for just a little bit longer. So while she's doing that, let's see if he can game around this place. Look, this room is open. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a chocobo meeting room. It's just security comes like, sir, what are you doing? Sir, get out of that room, sir. And they just escort him out of the building. It seems weird he'd just be wandering around a building just with a camera, just filming everything. It's like his competitor from Activision is going and trying to like steal all the good ideas. So, what do you do exactly? Look at all these cameras! So, what kind of games do you capture here? Now, it's Final Fantasy Remake, Final Fantasy Online 14, and there are a lot of titles here. Wow, look at that room! That looks like a Mr. Beast setup! Like, Mr. Beast would be giving away 100 grand there. Wow, that's dope! Can I see it? Can I see it? Yes, please! Okay, so I'm in the studio right now, and we're gonna change real quick just to see what it's like. Okay, here it is. And there you go, look at that, I'm wearing a motion capture suit. Looks kind of like a Christmas sweater, doesn't it? Like you'd be wearing this around the holidays. Oh, that's the guy I met earlier. Apparently, he's an art director and Ruby needs his feedback on her chocobo illustration. And what better way to get feedback than from the man who created Mini Chocobo himself almost 30 years ago. Oh, that's cool. To be able to go to him and get feedback on your work and be criticized and torn apart and Told all the time, it's not good enough. It's a very cool experience. Yay, finally done. She says that she could probably work a little longer, but tonight she has plans to play an online game with her friends. When she plays online, she usually has a drink or two with a light meal while chatting with friends. So before the game starts, she prepares her dinner. Do you have any specialties? <laughs> Oh, I guess she's making a peach mozzarella dish. Looks good. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, wow. She mixes in some booze with that. You know what? Instead of wine, 
that seems a lot more exciting, right? So it looks like Ruby is gonna be playing this game until 10 with their friends, enjoying, and then after that, probably take a bath, and then probably go to sleep at 12. That's pretty much a day in the life of a Japanese game illustrator. Ah, I love this video. Just a great energy all the way around. It's really, it's nice to see when people love what they do. So uh, with that said, you guys, I'll link to his channel down below in the description. As always, feel free to add me on Instagram. Thank you so much, and until next time.